Okay guys, so if you are a nursing student, or if you know a nursing student, pass this on to them. You have to take psych, mental health. You have a final, cumulative. I encourage you to make sure you know these topics, make sure you understand the difference between therapeutic and non-therapeutic communication. Make sure that you understand um, the, mental stat the mental status assessment, the questions that you ask during the mental status assessment. Make sure that you know um, the difference in anxiety, like mild versus severe. Mild anxiety, that's a good thing, right? That's what makes you get up and study versus severe anxiety where you're so afraid, you know, somebody's about to kill you, you can't even run, right? Make sure you know the difference between mild, moderate, severe anxiety. Make sure you know your um, anxiolytics, your benzodiazepines. And when I say make sure those medications, specifically the adverse effects and the nursing interventions for them, make sure you know your difference between your bipolar one, bipolar two disorders. Make sure you know as far as pharmacology, your mood stabilizers, your anticonvulsants, the lithium. When it comes to lithium, you have to know those levels. You have to know the lithium levels and toxicity. Make sure you know your antidepressants, such as your SSRIs, your SNRIs, your MAOIs, etc. Make sure that you know SSRIs, that's the number one choice for the antidepressants. And make sure you know those foods that contain tyramines that the patient's taking MAOIs that they have to stay away from, you're going to see it. Um, make sure you know your defense mechanisms, such as, you know, projection, um, denial, all that good stuff. Make sure you know Erickson's psychosocial development stages. Make sure you know Maslow's hierarchy of needs. As much as I talk to you about Maslow's hierarchy of needs, make sure you know that. You know that. And part two coming up soon.